What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a straight razor shave with uh, the ZY430 here. And uh, right now there's a healthy debate going on in the community of uh, technique versus um, performance and soap or something like that. So I wanted, I wanted to test it out for myself and see if my technique um, will save me from using something that's considered insuperior. So we're going to go with Barbersol today. Heck, I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> yeah, the debate right now is going on between uh, CDB and um, Chief. It's a friendly debate. So I just got curious to see whether my technique can, uh, with you know my shaving technique, I can uh, have a good shave with Barbersol. Oh, the can goo. It's been a long time since I've used this. So I'm just gonna rub it onto the face here and we're gonna see what kind of shave I can get with some Barbersol. Yeah, this video wasn't meant to disrespect anyone. I'm not taking any sides in this argument or debate, whatever. This is just curiosity for me. I just wanted to see what kind of shave I can get with a uh, barber saw. Hopefully, we'll get a good one. I'm actually kind of excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pass number one, barber saw, ZY430. All right, so far, so good. Didn't feel too bad. All right, let's get around the chin here. So, in all honesty, it's not as slick as an artisan soap, but so far, I'm not having a terrible shave. Yeah, it's definitely not a, uh, definitely not slicker than um, some of these artisan soaps, or against some of the, uh, or compared to some of the original, you know, hard soaps like Chella and um, Hosslinger and stuff like that. But wasn't a bad first pass. Let me go ahead and uh, dry off the face here. We'll do a second pass with some Barbersol. Soothing, what is it? Soothing aloe. Hope everybody is doing well and having a good day. Having a nice weekend so far. I just got back from my trip to Rhode Island. We stayed in Massachusetts, like I was saying, or like I said in my past video, in a town called, in a town called Seconk, or Seconk, I think is how it's pronounced. Okay, dry my hands off here, a little wet here. 
And here we go for pass number two. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not having a bad shave so far. I'm actually surprised at how well this is actually performing. All right, here we go. Last part of the mustache here. And last part of the chin here. All right, let's see how it feels. So sorry I didn't talk a whole lot in this video. I was just trying to concentrate and see what my honest opinion about a barbershaw, a barbersaw shave was with a straight razor. And while it's not ideal to use, for me at least, wasn't you know the slickest soap compared to what I'm used to. But to be honest with you, I got an okay shave. Got a better shave than I thought I was going to get. So I'm gonna finish off with some. Thayer's Witch Hazel here. And to be honest with you, I'm really surprised. And do a couple of squirts of uh, Zingari Man Post Shave Balm. This is unscented. And I just shot the, <laughs> there's a little uh, blockage in the top of the tube tear top of the cap there and when I pressed it down it shot lotion everywhere. All right ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for this shave. I challenge any one of you guys out there to give a uh, give this a try. Shave uh, with Barbasol see what you think. Is technique everything or is the, the performance of the cream everything? Take care, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you again soon for another shave.